Gamers, the Alpha Bear is launching soon in AFK Journey, and I wanted to show you some of the best free-to-play teams that are out there. Luckily, a lot of the best damage dealers are A-list heroes, so you will get them eventually, but if you don't have them, one thing I want you to consider is when you're fighting this boss, do at least one run with some of your highest tier units and see what your damage is before you start swapping to some of the other meta picks. Because a lot of them do require Mythic Plus items, and so even if you see a guide that says, well, use Corrin. If you don't have Corrin's weapon, his, his EX weapon, he's a fraction of as good as what he could be. So be very careful with that. But the nice thing about any of these world bosses, I talked about that with, you know, the original boss, is... You can get 99% of the rewards that you can get with most free-to-play teams. So that's really good. And I'm going to just show you this right here. Everyone using this team, anyone running this team right here of Smokey, Thorin, uh, Odie, Sishia, and Coco will get 99% of the rewards you possibly could get. There's going to be some whales that might beat you, but this team is good enough to get almost everything you could ever want. Will you be on the leaderboard? You might not. All right, depending on how much people have spent on your server, depending on how lucky they got with other characters that have some crazy EX weapons and things like that, maybe you won't. But just using the Sishia that I know everyone has, Odie, I'm sure many people have you know invested in, and this team works. But I also want to show you some other options because maybe you don't have a Smokey. I want to give you some different options and how you can do as much damage as possible. All right, so... Number one, let's talk about, about the, the kind of the different slots. We need some sort of healer, all right? And I think one of the only other healers that does well here and is, is, is valuable is Hewan. But an invested Hewan to keep your team alive and healthy. I think Hewan can work very well here, pick, uh, you know, paired with Coco. It's going to keep you alive. It's going to get you, you know, lots of heals. I feel like Rowan does not heal enough because the boss does a percentage HP as the fight goes on, and it's really hard to keep up with Rowan. It's just not enough healing. If you had a super invested, um, like, Damien, maybe, but Smokey's the best, typically, because of the damage boost that it provides, as well as just the nice AoE healing. As for the tank slot, you need some sort of tank. Thorin is usually the one that everyone picks because Thorin is one of the best bossing tanks because of the debuff it places on the boss. But also, if Thorin goes down, they come back. And, and if you get, you know, hit with a, a couple crits in a row, you can at least salvage the run. So Thorin is picked most likely. However, you could, if you needed, throw in someone like Entendra just because you might get some faction bonus stuff going here, uh, which, which can definitely help you out. But for the most part, if you've got a Thorin, even on a low copy, I would just throw them in. Okay? I know not everyone has everyone, but eventually everyone will have a copy of everything from the, the free S ranks that we get. Now, Odie is a very good damage dealer because poisons are amazing in any boss. I have a very invested Odie, and I would recommend everyone use Odie. The only way you would replace Odie is if you have someone like Merrily or Corrin on um, a Mythic Plus or beyond. But it would still make more sense to have Odie on the team and most likely replace your Sishia with the 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 Corrin or the the... Marley? Merrily? Why do I still not know how to say her name? Something like this would actually be more DPS as long as they have the Mythic Plus. And I'll explain that in just a second. I'll kind of just show both those units to explain that. Um, she does awesome DPS. She's really, really good. She gets this attack and attack speed bonus, which is awesome. She gets this crit damage bonus, which is awesome. But is it Mythic Plus where things start to get really nutty? Because she gets this stacking attack increase when everyone is ulting, which is awesome. And then, if you get more ranks of it, it gets an even bigger uh, attack percentage bonus. So her her base attack, or or the 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 max level of her attack, is above anyone else pretty much in the game. So she's uh, a very very solid unit, and um, yeah, she just she just kind of cracked. And really, at Mythic Plus, like like Supreme Plus helps, but at Mythic Plus, her damage spike is massive. So that is why she is such a good damage dealer. On top of that, because she moves around the field, she dodges one of the big kind of like, it's like a it's like a line attack. It's just like one that goes almost all the way down the middle. And because she jumps around the map, she dodges it sometimes, which helps keep her alive. So that's one of the reasons why she's cracked. The other one is, um, is Corrin. 
So I don't have inv him invested. But again, Corrin is crazy. Um, he's got this like little shielding thing, which is cool. But this thing, guaranteed critical strikes to enemies beyond one tile. For every 1% of his crit rate, his crit damage is increased by 1%. That is super strong because he uses a spear. So he's beyond one tile. And you know where the boss is, right? So this is a very powerful thing, uh, period. And then getting this haste when you're legendary is great because haste is one of the best busts in the game. But then at Mythic Plus, you start doing a percentage of the boss's HP. Corrin is crazy. I almost want to make a new account where I invest in Corrin and, and, and Marley over anyone else and just and just do that. But if you have the Mythic Plus, if you have them invested, again, either of these, whichever one is Mythic Plus, throw them in. If both of them are Mythic Plus, throw them in like that. And that is going to be pretty much the optimal team. Now, for the Coco. Coco gives an attack bonus to everybody. And Coco allows you to um, tank some of the hits and just stay alive, which is cool. That being said, this is giving you a faction bonus, and that's cool. We like that. But you could consider swapping her out for someone else, depending on what un units you're using. In this case, I don't really have any faction bonus going on whatsoever. So you could consider saying, well, maybe I'll just bring in a different healer to stay alive. Or, or maybe I'll bring in just one more damage dealer, and I'm going to just try to punch out as much damage as I can. Or I'm going to try to bring in my Sishia, or something like that. Right? That, that could be a really good option. But another one for you to consider is Reiner. Now, again, Reiner is very, very good with more copies. And I know everyone, if you followed my guides, probably started buying him out of the clan shop. And you can almost get another copy. Like, next week you can get another copy. But this unit, even without the, the mythic weapon, which is very good, can still bring some value. At the beginning of the fight, he'll teleport a unit in and allow them to uh, heal off the damage being dealt to the boss, which makes them very, very tanky. And also, um, you do do damage based on a percentage of the boss's HP. It's not a ton, but but actually, it might not work because the boss isn't below the 61%. I, I just thought of that. It it's based on their HP. But later on, later on, once it's below 60%, uh, when you throw him in, he's essentially doing some HP percentage stuff. So the damage is actually pretty good. Um, but you can keep your team alive. And eventually, with Mythic Plus, you start doing 25% more damage to the boss. Everyone, which is cracked. That's super, super good. So uh, this is also a very good option. But again, not everyone has this. No one has this. I don't have Mythic Plus, and I got one early. It's going to take a long time. But again, any combination of this team right here is a, is a, is a winner. If you have to slot one or two people out, you will get 99% of the rewards. Don't stress out. Okay? And that's all I really wanted to say. So that's my guide. Uh, like, honestly, I could go into the mechanics of the boss. Essentially, the boss puts honey on your units, on, on your first unit, your tank unit, like Thorin. He'll use, like, his ultimate. It'll put honey on more people. He's got, like, a, a line attack. He's got a slam Depending on who's got honey, I th I think, I can't quite remember, it's, it's been a long time, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Just live. Just use that team and live, and you will get 20 chests. Alright? And, on top of that, um, if you can't live, you know, sacking a defense, a, or, a, or a, a, an attack option for a defensive option, like that Coco, or like a Hewen, or whatever, um, you just have to look at it and see, did did lasting longer matter? Because with this boss, most people are going to die at like, probably like 25 seconds left or 30 seconds less left because everyone is taking damage the whole time. It's it's kind of like the, um, it's kind of like the Necro Dragon boss and, and, and poisoning your team the whole time. It's, it's kind of the same idea. You get your hit with your honey and you're, you're just going to slowly wither down and burn. And so... It's, it's more doing upfront damage and getting that damage off as soon as possible. While we're on that topic, that uh, another thing to consider with that is your artifacts. So one of the best ones for it is Star Shard Spell, especially once you start getting it to level um, 10, because it gives, you know, just like a little burst of damage overall, and it adds up to quite a bit of damage. The other option you can consider, because it is kind of a, a race against time fight, 
is you could consider Enlightening uh, Spell to help stack up some of your poisons early on and put Odie in the back line getting poisons out or uh, Merrily or whatever to ramp up and get her... Well, I guess, I guess hers is more based on ultimate, so never mind. Let's just say Odie. Regardless, if you put Sishia in the back line, her, her ultimate will go out on the field faster because she's attacking faster. Things like that. So this one can be a decent option, especially when this goes to 20 seconds. Um, it gives you that little bit of attack speed as well. And and when it's a kind of this race for time, this could out damage it. I would just use the same team and run both of them and see which one does better. It's going to depend on crits and lucky hits and all that stuff, but that's kind of what I would do overall. Uh, that's my game plan. And if you follow this guide, you're going to slap the boss, get most of the rewards, and maybe you'll make the leaderboard if you get some upgrades. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.